Hey Naturally Curly World, welcome to Watch and Go, the show where we do our hair and review what we watched. This week I'm going to be reviewing season 3 of Narcos. Cocaine cartels are about succession. While the whole world was focused on Escobar, Cali became the biggest cocaine cartel in history. But to pretend that these guys weren't just as evil as the guy that came before them. That's a mistake. So first I'm gonna um, shampoo with Elucent's Moisture Benefits Shampoo. Then I'm going to do this new Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Conditioning Mask. Um, and then I'm going to style my hair with Jessie Curl Rockin' Ringlet Styling Potion. And Elliot looks extreme sport. Level 10 plus hold gel. I'll explain this when we get to that step. Don't make fun of me quite yet, okay? I promise there's a reason I'm using this. So uh, I'm gonna go shampoo my hair and put in this conditioning mask, and then I'll start telling you about Narcos. Okay, so I washed my hair and I put that mask in my hair. I'm gonna leave it in for three to five minutes. So while I'm waiting for my hair to moisturize, I'm gonna tell you all about season three of Narcos. So um, at the end of the last season, uh, season two, we saw Pablo Escobar die. And I, for one, am really gonna miss like those sweaters he was wearing with his dad jeans and those like Reebok, like the white sneakers. I low key liked Pablo Escobar. Like he was crazy, but he was entertaining. In this season, season three, um, it focuses on the Cali cartel, which basically move in after Pablo dies and they take over the cocaine trade in Colombia. The white DEA guy from the past two seasons, I don't remember his name, uh, he's not on the show anymore. Javier Pena is still like leading the whole crusade against the cocaine dealers in Colombia. Uh, he almost gets kicked out because he kind of ignores rules. He's kind of a DEA bad boy, you know what I'm saying? But. Uh, he is actually very good at his job. So the Cali cartel is made up of four leaders and one of them gets captured early in the season. And he was like the leader leader. Like he was the leader that led all the other leaders. So uh, then his brother has to like step in for him. And um, like their head of security, he's trying to leave the cartel to start his own security firm, but they won't let him. They're just like, mm, no, we'll kill you. So then he's like, well, um, I don't want to die, but I also don't want to work for this cartel. So he goes to the DEA and he starts working with DEA. You either stay in the cartel for the rest of your life or they kill you. There's like, there's no alternative. So he starts working with the DEA and um, trying to like organize it so that the rest of the cartel will be captured and he can escape Colombia. You're like super worried about him, his wife, he has two little daughters. And it's like, oh no, honey, like this is not gonna go well. Like you're definitely gonna die. And he's such a good actor. Like he, his character arc in this in the season is really good. And you see him go from being like this hard, like head of security guy um, to at one point, like straight up having like a breakdown and like going to his wife crying. I'm gonna go wash this mask out of my hair and I'll be right back to tell you more about Narcos. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I put like a quarter size amount of this Rock and Ring with Styling Potion in my hair. And then I put a literal handful of this gel and I scrunched it into my soaking wet hair. This sounds really weird unless you know what the scrunch out the crunch method is. It's basically where you just use super intense gel to set your waves or curls. And then once they set, you use something else to scrunch out the crunch. I'm gonna put these bobby pins in my roots to kind of boost them up while my hair dries. Violence wise, very similar as the past two seasons. If you don't like graphic violence, don't watch this show. They really like to kill people in terrible ways when something doesn't go the way they want it to. <laughs> you know, it might haunt your dreams, who knows? Good luck. Something I really like about this show is they incorporate a lot of like um, real news footage and real photos into the uh, the series. So you can see like what was, what was actually going on in Colombia at the time. 
and how real this was. Like, yeah, they probably made up a lot of the dialogue, but all the events were real, and that's what's really crazy about the show. It's always been a really frustrating show because of how hard it is to catch the cartel members because they pay off the police, they pay off the government. So this season was kind of all about like figuring out who's like leaking stuff, who can he trust, who can he not trust, how does he get to these people without them, finding out beforehand, which is really tough. So my roots are mostly clipped up now. Um, so I'm just gonna let this hair set for about 30 minutes, let it air dry, and then diffuse it until it's completely dry. Okay, so I just finished diffusing. I'm gonna take these bobby pins out. My hair is probably 90% dry. I'm just gonna let it air dry for the rest of uh, the day. So what I really liked about um, season three of Narcos was at the end of season two, I was kind of worried because I didn't know like where they were going to go with the plot of the series um, because they had spent two seasons focusing on Pablo Escobar and I was like, well, where do they have to go? Is this going to be terrible next season? And it wasn't at all. It was actually really good, um, arguably better even than the last two seasons. Um, the action was a lot easier to follow. The suspense was just as good, uh, and I never felt like I was missing Pablo Escobar, which I really thought that I would, except for his fashion, for sure. Um, so I'm gonna give the show four out of five stars. If you're into like drugs and cartels and trafficking and stuff like that, you'll probably really like it. So four out of five stars. Have you watched Narcos? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We make watching goes every Wednesday, so come back next week for another one. Bye.